Good morning, Hay Street family. It is Wednesday, September 16th, and I'm sitting in the sanctuary here at Hay Street. I'm drawn to this rocking chair today, and I'll speak to that in a few moments with you um, to share uh, the reason why. Um, friends, I, I wish you grace and peace in the name of Jesus Christ as we come together for this email blast update and a few words I'd like to share with you this morning. I wanted to share a passage of scripture uh, that spoke really clear to me um, this week in my morning devotion. It comes from Hebrews chapter 12, beginning at verse 14. Pursue peace with everyone in the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and through it many become defiled. See to it that no one becomes like Esau, an immoral and godless person who sold his birthright for a single meal. You know that later, when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no chance to repent, even though he sought the blessing with tears. Friends, I found these were helpful words that um, have stuck with me this week um, and have continued to stick with me, especially those words that, that just challenge me to pursue peace with everyone um, and that no one fails to obtain the grace of God. Powerful words of truth for us to live by as we navigate uh, this season that continues before us. Friends, I was drawn to, to sit here in the sanctuary in this rocking chair this morning um, after the news of the death of one of our former pastors, Wallace Kirby. Uh, Pastor Wallace died this past Saturday, and I pray many of you will raise a prayer of thanksgiving for the ways that God used Wallace here at Hay Street during his, his tenure, his appointment from 1968 to 1974. Uh, Wallace uh, was faithful in his ministry to so many places throughout this, this conference, and indeed here with the many missions and ministry that he engaged with with you, the good people at Hay Street. Um, I, um, I believe that the words of, uh, from his obituary were absolutely spot on as I read those words. Wallace maintained a deep love for the church and a belief in its resilience. His wit, his humor, and caring spirit will be missed by so many. Wallace truly impacted my life in powerful and profound ways as he served as my mentor during my student appointment with the folks at Warren's Grove in Roxborough. He carefully challenged me he always loved me, and he was steadfast in his support of me in my early days of ministry through his ever wise counsel. I will never forget those afternoons that Wallace invited me to sit in the rocking chair in the second story of his house, absorbing his teachings, listening to the stories of his own journey through ministry, and how those stories um, affirmed me and certainly supported and challenged me to be the best pastor I could be. So I was reaching for one of his books this morning. I'm on my bookshelf and I've got four of them that were authored by Wallace. And I wanted to share this excerpt for, with you today. And it comes from Programs and Promises, Reflections on the Beatitudes. And I wanted to read um, an excerpt from the last chapter um, that's titled, um, Do I Dare Be Different? So hear these words that come from Wallace. Jesus' promises are great, but tough is his program. He offers us life in God's kingdom here in this world, comfort when life falls in, the quiet strength that is so powerful. He demands that we dare to be different, to be guided by standards different from the standards of the world. In our moral, social, working, and economic life, we have to be different from those who follow other masters if we want what he promises, the deep satisfaction of pursuing the right compassion instead of callousness, a vision of God and right relationships. Do we dare be different? It's a high-risk investment, for we will have to endure rejection when we want so desperately to be accepted, dislike when we want so desperately to be liked, ostracism when we want so desperately to be a part of our peer group. If we will dare to be different, we will make a sure investment, for the, the promises follow the program. Thanks be to God, we say and we pray today for Wallace Kirby, who was indeed a man who dared to be different and pointed us all to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Friends, as we um, consider this day and the, and the days to come and the rest of this week, please be sure to read below as we take um, some time to share some updates with you about what's happening here at Hay Street. We look forward to seeing hopefully many of you this evening as we kick off Wednesday evening fellowship with our drive-through dinner and devotions in the carport area. 
The nominations, the trustees, the finance, and the SPRC committee are meeting this month as we prepare for our upcoming charge conference in November. The leadership team continues to investigate and discern ways for us to um, consider regathering safely. So be sure to talk with members of all those committees that I've shared, as well as members of the leadership team as we continue to discern that and pray through that. The outreach committee makes an announcement below about how you can be a supporter to our Margaret Willis family and this backpack ministry that they're gonna begin and look forward to um, supporting them with the 24 backpacks that um, that team has um, secured for us. A mission trip is planned for next month. Mike, Mike Tron is helping us to organize that, go down east to help with hurricane recovery efforts. Justin's organizing a day at Rockfish, a church family day at Camp Rockfish for Saturday, September 26th from 10 to 3. And Pastor Dennis and myself are offering Bible and book studies that have begun this week, but we'd love to have folks join us on there. There's also Sunday schools that continue to meet and we just hope, friends, you'll continue to worship with us online, live streaming Sunday morning, as well as we have moved outside to an evening, Sunday evening worship at 6.30. Thanks so much for taking the time to um, join with me here from the sanctuary. And let us all be sure to lift a prayer for the Wallace Kirby family and as, as we give thanks to God for the great ministry that he shared here at Hay Street. Take care and God bless, my friends. Continue to live into those general rules that John Wesley gives us of doing no harm, of doing good, and staying in love with God. Be well now.